What's up everyone? Today we're going to be going over leak code 429, level order traversal of an airy tree. Now this is basic BFS question, but the slight difference between what we usually do in a BFS loop with the queue versus what we do here is the first line after a after the while queue is not empty, we always pull it. However, in this type of question, we actually don't pull it right away, but we get the size of the queue, and then we iterate over that size, and then we pull within the inner for loop. I'll show you exactly what I mean. But this is a pretty important question, if for nothing else, because it's pretty versatile, and depending on what question you're asked, you might actually be able to at least come up with a brute force or mm, simple solution using this. So let's get into it. What they want is a list of lists of integers that goes like that. That's the input, 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 6, in the same way. So let's first initialize something that they want in terms of the returning data structure. I'll call it res, and we initialize as a new array list. And then I'm going to create a temporary, I'm going to call it t, which basically stands for temporary. When I do each level, it's going to hold it. And we just have to do some base cases. If root is null, return res. Otherwise, if root dot children dot size is zero, we add t dot add root dot val, and we add that res dot add t and we return res but that's just the base case now let's make the q and get into the meat of the algorithm q u e u e um, of int of nodes actually nodes and we don't need a visited set because this is a tree and not a graph new instantiated as a linked list and I'll just add the root node in it. So now we got the basics of the data structure. So let's, I'm gonna erase this and then write the iteration of the while loop. So go ahead and take a look at it. So while Q isn't empty, now, let's be careful here. This is the difference I told you in the beginning. Usually, we'll pull it in right away, but for something like this, we're going to take the size. So, int size, q dot size, and then for int i is equal to zero, i is less than size, i plus plus, we pull it inside here. So, node n is, uh, is going to be q dot pull. Once we pull it, that's when we add it to the um, temporary list. So add n dot value, and then for node, and now we're going to check this guy's children, nei through n. When we do that, this is going to be it's going to have kids and it's going to um, go through each one so q dot add n e i i think that should be it i think that should be it so we pull it we add that one's value then we go through the children and get it ready for the next one yeah yeah i think that should be it okay then what we do is we add res dot add new array list uh, t and then we clear t because we're going to reuse the temporary list again and that's pretty much all you have to do to return res so 
that's how you solve Lee Code 429. If you made it all the way through, congratulations. The hard work will pay off. Um, and if you like the video, please subscribe, thumbs up, and comment below on whatever you want to see. Thanks.